Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Exton, Precinct 13 and Chair of the Arlington School Committee. The Arlington Public Schools have had a busy and productive school year, including the onboarding of our new Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Elizabeth Holman. In September 2021, students returned to buildings full time after two years of disrupted schooling. And in February 2022, we opened the new STEAM and Performing Arts Wings at Arlington High School. In addition to maintaining our high quality programming across the district, this budget works to support students in all areas of development and promotes equity of access. This budget includes support for students' social, emotional, and mental health, addresses increasing enrollments at the secondary level, ensures access to necessary related services for all students, and continues work towards goals of the five-year budget plan. This year's budget also eliminates elementary instrumental music fees and high school athletic fees. This change supports our continued work toward equity by allowing access to all for these important aspects of a well-rounded education. Additionally, participation in the performing arts and athletics support improved mental health and enhanced student engagement in school. APS is able to include the aforementioned budget additions despite continuing to spend 10% less per pupil than the town manager 12 average. Unfortunately, the Arlington Public School teacher salaries continue to be behind those of the other town manager 12 towns and APS would like to close that gap in an effort to attract and retain a strong and diverse workforce. Now, Superintendent Holman and Mr. Mason will share more specific details about this year's budget. Thank you. Good evening, town meeting members. My name is Liz Holman, and I am the superintendent of Arlington Public Schools. I am joined by our, by our chief financial officer, Michael Mason, and we would like to begin by thanking our student artists whose artwork graced the cover of our FY23 budget, which we are pleased to present to you this evening. I wanna begin by articulating what some of our priorities were as we developed the FY23 budget. Chief among them was um, enrollments. We are keeping a close eye on enrollments and have increasing enrollments at the secondary level in particular and leveling off enrollments at the elementary level. Also among our priorities was ensuring that we met the needs of students as we recover from the COVID-19 pandemic, making sure that we can offer them opportunities to connect with school in meaningful ways and support their academic needs as well as their social, emotional and mental health. As I said, enrollments are a major driver of the Arlington Public Schools budget. What this slide is demonstrating are the different projections that we have gotten over the years to help us project enrollments and uh, budget accordingly. And key, the key thing to realize about this graph is that it's demonstrating that while our October 1 snapshot demonstrated right here by this little green dot showed our enrollments right along our projections, um, we currently have more students in the system as of March uh, than we had in October. And so it makes it difficult to project what our enrollments will be in the coming years. And we anticipate they'll be somewhere in between um, the projections that we've received from our vendors or that we've calculated ourselves and some of the larger projections that we've gotten before the COVID-19 pandemic. As you can see, there's a huge impact of the pandemic right here. Um, um, this is where we lost enrollments and we're now gaining a lot of those enrollments back. Mr. Mason? Yes, thank you, Dr. Holman. And so what this slide will demonstrate is that Arlington Public Schools from fiscal 2016 to fiscal 2020 trails behind the town manager 12 average as well as the state average per pupil average. Let me clarify that. And that the gap is, is if you look at a trend line, the gap seems to continue to grow year to year. Um, and despite having trailing behind our town manager 12 and the state average, we have been able to still provide an excellent education for the students of Arlington. However, with that per pupil average trailing the town manager 12, it also leads that to us trailing behind in salaries of our largest direct instruction staff, which Teaching assistants are behind the town manager 12 average of up to 40% on the low end, and our teachers are 5% below average. And when you compare this to even other work groups in the town in the in the town of Arlington, you'll see that our staff is below uh, their average compensation to their comparable in the town manager 12. Overall, this slide here is a reflection of what our budget is made of and what our budget is what we value. And over 75% of our budget is toward direct instruction, which includes elementary education, secondary education, as well as uh, about 25.8% 
going directly towards students with special needs and special education. The other is covered by management and administration, as well as curriculum development, which has that supports the instruction, and as well as facilities and other um, operational uh, costs. Overall, our total budget for fiscal 23 is $84,447,869. That is $4,343,235 higher than the fiscal 22 budget. However, before that does, does not go directly to just adding positions, we do have to look at, you know, what cost of living increases that we have to give to our staff. We have to look at any contract, contractual obligations that we may have with vendors or even our staff that are, have contracts or um, are even our bargaining units. And then as well as we have to look at inflationary costs. Um, and that's what we were covering about $458,000 to that or about 450,000 rounded up to be even. This with, we had to reduce some positions or reduce allocations of certain resources by $2.1 million to actually leave us with something to be able to provide uh, funding for new positions or new initiatives that we would like to take on, which leaves us about $2.4 million uh, for proposed additions that I will hand back over to Dr. Holman to discuss with you. Thank you, Mr. Mason. And this slide gives some highlights of some of the additions that we are prioritizing for the FY23 year. Among them, you will notice that we are eliminating um, instrumental music fees and athletic fees in an effort to give some funds directly back to taxpayers who might want their children to connect with school in meaningful ways during extracurricular times. We are also adding library librarians and digital learning teachers, interventionists, English learner teachers, special education teachers, team chairs and coordinators, as well as content area teachers at the secondary level in response to increased enrollment. As you'll notice down here, we have been able to use budget efficiencies in order to fund other additions, and we have a net additions of 14.1 additional positions in the Arlington Public Schools in an effort to ensure that our students continue to receive an excellent and equitable education in Arlington. Thank you very much for sticking with us for this brief presentation, and we look forward to answering any questions that you might have. Thank you.